It's like Hanukkah, good Hanukkah to all. And we're holding on Chof Hey Omid Beis. And we're about to begin a new sugya, guys. The sugya is, it's again, discussing Yisuri Hana. But we want to know if you have a Suri Hana against your will. What's the halacha? Is it Asra or Muta? Rav says it's Asra, Abayi says it's Muta. Now, what does it mean against your will? It means it can be avoidable or not avoidable. You can be mechavin or not mechavin. You have a vodizara. You have a katerist that's burning to a vodizara. Good. It's right next to your house. You can't avoid it. That's layefsha. You have a vodizara that you know on it burns on Coney Island Avenue, and you can go down East 9th Street. That's avoidable. Okay. That's avoidable. Now the question is: After that, you have to take your mechavin. Were you mechavin for hano or not mechavin for hano? So these are those are the two variables. Efshar and low Efshar, mechavin and low mechavin. So I, I made a chart. There's a machloikis over here. We have two days over here, two days in the chart. Okay, so here is Efshar, low Efshar. This is the first Lishna Kama, and this is the Lishna Basa. So here's the first possibility, guys. Watch. It's avoidable, and you have Kavana. Clearly, everyone would hold your Asa. You could avoid it, so you don't avoid it. You go to Coney Island Avenue, you stop and say, ah, azoike shmaka shmek. Kenny Miller, right? That's what he used to say in Rockaway, New Jersey. Azag shmaka shmek, right? But that, yeah, that's clearly Asa, correct? It's Asa in the first Lushen, guys. It's Asa in the second Lushen. Follow along with the little, little, little arrow. Asa first Lushen, Asa second Lushen. Okay, what about this case? The, case, the obvious case over here. It's not avoidable. It's, ne it's next door to your house and you're not machavin. So that's tati lamaila, right? That's two milas, both are milas. That everyone would hold your mutta. So those are the two variables that everyone holds. Is, is, is this one, everyone holds this one's asa, everyone holds this one's mutta. Now the fun begins. Now the fun begins. It's possible to avoid, but you don't avoid it. But you're, but you're not mechaving. In other words, a dava she'e miskaving. A dava she'e miskaving. We have machloikis in Masech the Shabbos. According to Rabbi Yehuda, dava she'e miskaving is, is what? Is Asr. And according to Rabbi, Rabbi Shimon, dava she'e miskaving is Muta. Right? You're taking a, you're taking a, a bench. You're moving the bench from one place to another place. You make a chritz in the ground, you make a plow, you plow in the ground. That's our case of Dava Shem Miskavin, correct? So according to that, Rabbi Yehuda says, we don't care about Kavana. We care about whether you can avoid it or not avoid it. Kavana, not Kavana, you're going to be Chayev. Okay? If Shimon says no, if Shimon says, the Iker is Kavana, says of Shimon. If you're Mechavin, if you're not Mechavin, you're Pata. I don't care about Efshar or not Efshar. I only care about Kavana. So now, here's the first Lashem. The machloikis between Abaye Verava is according to Rav Shimon. Loit Rav Shimon, who says, Dovashay Miskavin is Muta, that's only when, according, that's only when it's, uh, you, it's it, unavoidable. But if it's avoidable, in that case, Rabbi says it will be Asa, and Abaye says it will be Muta. So the machloikis between Abaye Verava, guys, is in Rav Shimon, is in Rav Shimon. According, however, according to Yehuda, who says the main thing is kavana, whether miskaving, doshe miskaving is asr, even Abaya who holds mutta would hold in Rebbe Yehuda is asr. Kuli Alma would hold is asr. That's the first, first, first lashon. Second lashon is machloik. This is good for the machloikus of Yehuda and Rebbe Shimon, and Abaya is not arguing. They're arguing over here, over here where they say that everyone says it's asr. Everyone says it's also here they're arguing. Here, like now, these guys, this is loy efsher. Guys, what? This is not avoidable. It's it's unavoidable. Loy efsher, it's unavoidable. And you're mechaving. Rav Shimon says, this, whether it's avoidable or not, Rav Shimon says, I go after Kavana. Dovashem is kavin muta. Dovashem is kavin is also. So over here also, he told it's also. Rav Yehudu says, no. This is big Kiddush, guys. Rav Yehudu says, we don't care about Kavana, because he holds David Sha'im Miskavin is Asr, 
even Amos Gavin is also, so the he would make a chil between Efsha and Loy Efsha. So Loy Efsha, according to Rabbi Yehuda, according to Abaya, is Mutter, and according to Rabbi is Asa. So these are the two Lashinas, and the Gemara is going to ask on this Lashin. The Gemara is going to ask on this Lashin. As we go through the Gemara, I'll be referring back to this chart. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to say the Gemara now, and we're going to see, see, keep the chart open and refer to the chart as we say the Gemara. Says the Gemara, and so I, again, we're beginning, beginning Chav Hei Amid Beis, Itmar. If you see the Tais V'Slayef Shah, go there and go down four lines, at the end of the line. Chav Hei Amid Beis. Itmar. Says that. Hanas Habo Loi Lo'odam Bal Karchoi. Hanas that comes to an individual against his will. Abayi Roma, Muteres, Verovo Oma Surah. Efsha v'chomechaven, guys, where it's avoidable, and he's mechaven, meaning he did two things wrong. He didn't avoid it, and he's mechaven. Everyone would hold it's asak, right? That's on the board. Efsha mechaven, efsha mechaven. There you go. Everyone holds that's asak. Loi efsha kamechaven, right? If loi efsha kamechaven, it's it's avoidable, it's unavoidable. Kamechaven, kul yamalei pligi the asa, right? The, right. Uh, I just said that, right? No. Mm. Everyone would hold it's asa. In the first lashon, guys, look. In the first lashon, there's no difference between efsher and loy efsher. The whole chilik is in kavana. Yeah, good. So look over here, asa and asa. Everyone, everyone would hold it's asa. Key pligi. Two milas, unavoidable, and you're not mechaven. Guys, look, muta, muta. There you go, muta, muta. Ki pligi the efsha v'loy mechaven. The machlokes in the first lashon is efsha over here. Guys, look at the chart. Efsha v'loy mechaven, right over here. Efsha v'loy mechaven. That's the machlokes. V'aliv derev Yehuda na madav v'shem eskaven asa kol yamlei pligi v'asa. There you go. Everyone hold that by derev Yehuda. It's asa. He pligi alibi Rav Shimon. Machlokes between Abayi and Rav is Rav Shimon. Dama Dava Shem is Kavin Mutta. Who says Dava Shem is Kavin is Mutta? Abayi Rav Shimon. Guys, right? Rav Shimon says Mutta. Abayi says Mutta. Rav Ama Ad Kan Leikom Rav Shimon Ela Hechad Leyefsha. He says only where it's not possible. However, Efsha where it's possible. But Aval Hechad Efsha Loi. So guys, look at the chart over here. Efsha Loi Mechavin. That's where the machlokes is. Efshalay mechavin is where the machlokes is. And going according to the sheet of Rav Shimon, loyda baya. Rav Shimon says it's always mutter. As long as you're not mechavin, loy mechavin, you're good. Right? Rav says when does Rav Shimon say davashem mechavin? That's only where it's loy efsha. But he, over here, where it's efsha, he would hold it to asa. That's the first lashon. Ikad yami. Now here's our lishna basra back in the Gemara. Efshav loy mechavin. Let's see the chart, guys. Efsha, the loy mechavein, right? The last box. Machlekes of Yehuda Rav Shimon. Loy Efsha loy kamechavein. Loy Efsha loy mechavein. Everyone hold your mutter. Kuli am loy pligi deshari. Again, that's two milas. Ki pligi. Where's the machlekes? This box, guys. The loy Efsha. It's unavoidable. The kamechavein. Unavoidable mechavein. Guys, Rav Shimon says it's us. Why? Rav Shimon, you hear, is us, is mutta. Why? Because a miskaven. Mashka miskaven would be us, whether efsher or loy efsher. The main criteria is kavana. Again, nachamo. Where does Rav Shimon say, miskaven is mutta? Because a miskaven. Mashma miskaven would be us, even if Loyefsha. Okay? So therefore, even Abaya would admit it's Asa. Where's the Machlaikis? The exact opposite. In the first Lashon, the Machlaikis was in Rav Shimon. In the second Lashon, and everyone agreed with Rav Yehuda. In the second Lashon, the Machlaikis is in Rav Yehuda. Rav Yehuda, who says the following Rav Yehuda says, Kavana doesn't make a difference. Guys, he holds Davish a Miskavin as Asa. So you see, he holds. Amos Kavin Kavana doesn't make a difference because even Amos Kavin is also. So, what, like him, the, if it's as long as the difference is whether Efsha or Loy Efsha. So, therefore, Mechavain, Mechavain, as long as Loy Efsha says a bio, it's Mutta. Guys, that's a tremendous cooler, right?
You listen to the Kula. As long as, as, long as Layefsha, it's unavoidable, even if you have Kavana, it's Muta. That's a Kiddush, right? And Rubbers say it's Asa. So there's your chart. There's your chart. Everything fit in. Okay, we're going to go through the Gemara, and, and I'll sh- when the, the Kasha comes up, we'll put the chart up again. But basically, that's it. Okay, says so the Gemara. In other words, when does he say Dov Hashem is what is uh, is 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 and this no is when you're machmir. Now you're going to tell me if you're not machaving, if you if if, if you're machaving, you're machaving. But it's Efsha, Efsha, it's Muta. That's a cooler. He doesn't say that. So therefore, ba- Rabbi says it's Asa. Om Rabbi, I mean a lot. Okay, Abayah is going to say, guys, the following. Look, Abayah is going to say, Mino Aminana, how do I know this? In the second Lashen, how do I know Loy Efsha, guys? Watch. Loy Efsha and Mechavein. Loy Efsha, the line is Loy Efsha and Mechavein. How do I know Abayah that it's Muta? So I have to be a case where it's unavoidable, a case where it's unavoidable, and you're machavin. Where do I know that from? The Tanya. Omru alova Rabbi Yochanan and Zakai. Rabbi Yochanan and Zakai. So Yoshe b'tzele shel heichel. He was sitting in the shadow of the heichel of the of the holy base on Mikdash, right? V'darish kol yom kula, and he was dashing the hilchas of the chag. The whole day he was dashing the hilchas chag. While being nene from from the base of Nigdosh. I the over there, the Loyevsha. It's unavoidable. Does he have to darshan, guys? Does he have to darshan? Yeah, he's got a darshan, right? Was he machavin to have Hanoff from the sale? Yeah, he was, correct? Fishari. So what do you see, guys? Look at the chart. Loyevsha, if it's not avoidable, he has to say. It's unavoidable. But Mechavin, to have Hanna from the shade, he is Rabbi Yochim and Zakai did it. Therefore, it must be Mutta. So the Chayra, Abaya has a riot, his Shita, like Efshar, Mechavin is Mutta. For Rava, no. Shiny Hechel, the different Hechel and Beis Amigdash, the Latoy Chayasui. There's nothing wrong with having Hanna from the, there's no Isra Hanna to have Hanna from the shade. The, the purpose of the Beis HaMikdash is inside the Mikdash, not outside the Mikdash. So if you're having enough in the shade outside the Mikdash, there's no, there's no Frank Nishan, the whole Shaila doesn't begin. So you have no Raya by you. You have no Raya whatsoever. Guys, do you know what's going on? Yeah, you, everyone's good? You, everyone's good? Yankel, you good? Okay, good. Avram, good. Evans, good. Okay. Baita. Next case. Amar Rava. Says Rava, Mino Amin Allah. Now, what's, guys, what's Rava going to bring the riot to? Let's see the chart. It's always good to keep Cheshman here. What's Rava bringing the riot to? That I hold Lo Yefsha and Mechavein is Asr. Right? It's unavoidable. I have Kavana. Is Asr. Lo Yevshar, Mechavein is Asr. How do I know that? Nan, it's a Mishnah. Lulin Hoya Psuchin Baliyas Beis Kachay Kedashim. They had, in the Kachay Kedashim, you know, they had to go ahead and fix, they, there was maintenance. You couldn't walk into the Kachay Kedashim to do maintenance. You can never walk into the Kachin Kedashim unless you're the Kayin God on Yom Kippur. And even then, enter at your own risk. I think there were 300 Kahanim Gedolim, the Gemara the Numa says. 300, 300 Balei Gaiva died in, in the, in the, in the Bayashani. Atkadei Kach. So really, talk about a radioactive place, very dangerous. So here's your job. You got to do maintenance in the, in the Kachin Kedashim. So what would they do? They would put you in a some type of basket, and they would lower you in from a hole in the ceiling. But you couldn't see because they had this stuff around you. You fixed what you fixed, and you got out. So now, Lulin Hayapsuchas Baliyah Space Kachikadashim. 
Shebehen Mishal Shlunes Armonim, they would lower the craftsmen, Bitevois in boxes, Kedesh Leizunu Al Enehem, the base Kachi Gadoshim, that they shouldn't be Nene from the beautiful uh, pictures and tapestries that existed in the walls of the Kachi Gadoshim. So they made sure they didn't see. Ivor Hachad Layefsha, did they have to be there? Was it unavoidable to be there? No, they had a fix, correct? And now they're looking, they're not looking, right? And why do they put boxes up? Because it's Asa, for Asa. So why do you see? The Loy Efsha, Umachavin, is Asa. That's Rav's opinion in the Lishma Basra. So Abaya tried to bring his Raya from Yochanan and Zakai, and Rav uprooted his Raya and said there was no problem there in the first place. Shadows were not a problem of Hana. But clearly over here, apparently, apparently is a problem of Hana. Looking, where the looking is Hana, and that we'll see in a second. So therefore, the Gemara says, you have a Raya, a very Gishmak Raya. The fact that they made it, uh, they made the person who was in an unavoidable situation avert his eyes from looking in the Kachik Hashim is a Raya that wa'at that. It's a Raya that it's also. So it's a right, it's a right that wa'at that it's also. Okay. Oma says to Gemara, the Tisbara, you mean to tell me that there was Issa there? There are Omar of Shimon Pazi, Omar of Yeshua ben Levi, Mishim Bakapara, Koyal, the listening to the sounds of the Klei Zemer in the Beis HaMikdash, Umara, looking at any tapestry or of, of, of Kachim, or any, any, anything to see of Kachim, Vireach, or smell of the Ketiris, there's no me'ila. So, l'chayra, what is your problem? El, what do you have to say? The fact that they put a box around the umanim, milo asu bebeis kachik adoshim, they made a milo bebeis kachik adoshim. So you don't have a raya it's asa. In other words, this is l'fnei, Mishur has had din. This is not a din of me'ila, because what, what would the me'ila be? What would the having he, hanla from Hegdash be, guys? It would be Mara, it would be seen. But Mara does not have a din what, of, uh, does not have a din of, 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 uh, of Meila. So therefore, your is not a Raya. Kenzain, lo yevshom, kemechavin is takamuta. Aye, they put the box up. That was a Meila, that was a Meila in Kedusha that they did, but not intrinsically in the din. That was one way to learn. So we've avoided now, uh, we, we slugged up a Bayez Rava, and we slugged up, and we slugged up uh, Rava's, 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 uh, Raya. Ikka the army, Amarava, Mino Aminola. How do I know that Loy Efshar, the Chomachavin is Oster, the Tanya, Amrav Shmuel Bapazi, Amrav Shub and Levi, Mishum Makapara, Koil Umar Vareach, Aimeh Mishum Meila, Meila who the Leka, Hoysura Ikka, my love, Lo Oysan or Oyne Bifnim, where's it Osa? Those people who are wide who are standing inside doing the Avoida. The people that people are doing avoida, the layefsha, it's not possible for them to avoid the seeing things, smelling things, look, and, and uh, hearing things. So it must be speaking about the people doing the avoida and, and what? And it would be asr. Says Maloy, La Oysan or Oimdin Bachutz. For those that are what oimid bachutz, for those who are standing what outside. Those who are standing outside. But and, and, those, and that's avoidable. That's avoidable. So you have no raya. You have no raya. In other words, you wanted to bring a raya to shita. They're inside and and what? They're inside and and uh, that there was an issa for these people. There's an issa for these people to go ahead right and and uh, and have enough from the stuff. Excuse me. <laughs> I don't know if it's the Rabban or the Raisa guys. This is not Meila, but I don't know if it's the Rabban or the Raisa, but you know, it's a goof of rubbish being the Raya from Shrim and Pazi Zisser. The people who are inside, it's unavoidable they're doing the Avoida and still it's Dasa. 
they have to do the avoidance till it's asa, right? Even though it's efsha. And the answer is no. It's asa for the people outside, because outside it's efsha to avoid it. So you have no raya. The Gemara now goes and uh, digresses to discuss that we brought in earlier the concept of that there's no me'ila by something you could see, something you could smell, or something that what you can, uh, or something that you can uh, uh, hear. Guys, I'm going to turn my my mic off for a little bit. I'm having trouble with my nose, and and I, just, I don't know, it's, I don't want to re record it, what's happening with my nose. It's a, as a result of the COVID. I don't smell anything. I, it's really causing me. Uh, okay, so I'm I'm going to go off. off camera for a little bit. Okay. Thank you. <coughs> Kufa. I'm Rav Shimon Ben Pasi. Says Rav Shimon Ben Pasi. I'm Rav Shimon Ben Levi. Mishum Ba Kapara. Koel Umar Vareach. Eim Behem Mishum Me'ilo. Koel Umar Vareach. Eim Behem Mishum Me'ilo. There's no din of Me'ilo. Okay. Me'ilo again is Behegdish. If you have enough Behegdish, you're going to have to bring uh, uh, the Karen, the amount that you had enough from. You're going to have to add a chomesh, a fourth, or, uh, or a fifth. You're going to have to add. And then you're going to have to go ahead and and, and bring a carbon ash from the Elois. You have to bring a carbon ash from the Elois. So now, these things not. Fred the Gemara, a reach, ain't by Misham You mean to tell me a reach does not have Misham Meila, but Tanya, I'm a fatty mesakatarius. Now it's also to go ahead and and and, and make, a, make, make a copy of the ingredients of the katarius. It's impossible. So here you've been mafatim the katarius. Lislami ba, either to learn how to make it, or you're making it for the purpose of the tzibor. Potter, you did nothing wrong. La riach ba, but if you're making it for the purpose of, of mariach, then you'll be chayev. If you're making it for the purpose of mariach, then what? You would be what? You would be chayev. Baha mariach ba, and someone who smells the katoris itself, pata el shamal. You'd be pata, but you're mild. So we see over here, that there would be a dinamila. Let's see Rashi here, guys. So this. In Lislami Ba Oil Maisra, Acha Petuma Litzibor, if you're doing it to learn or to give it over to the Tsibor after you you put it together, Patami Karis. Avalan Daito Lat Sneel it's Sarchoi La Riachba, it is Das is to put it away for himself. For us of a Samimon Maksubim, and he makes it using the drugs that are mentioned in the Taira, then Chaiv Karis. You be chaiv karis for that. So if you make it for the purpose of smelling, you will be chayev. Let's say you smell the guitar said tziba, you didn't make a copy of it. You didn't make a copy of it. It was there. Then you put them. Mikaris or michatos. In other words, you had to do two things. You had to go ahead and put it together, l'riach. But the smell... The, in other words, Moshe Rabbeinu made the Ketairis. You smell the Ketairis. You would not be chayev. However, you would be moil. El shemoil, shenenem in ha-kodesh, who may be osham ilas. You'd have to bring an osham ilas. So now, you, so therefore we're asking a question. You said, koil mara v'reach. Ein ba misham ila. Here you see reach, yesh ba mi'ila. Here you see smelling, there is a din of mi'ila. Say, Ella, you're right, lo shacharata. Amra papa, there's nothing to them. There's nothing to the coil. There's nothing to the mara. And reach, after the smoke goes up, there's no din of meila. But before him, when you take a whiff of the katiris, you're smelling the mamashas of the katiris. You're smelling the you're smelling the mamashas of the katiris. In that case, there would be what a din of. In that case, there would be a din of meila. Yes, you have your hand up? Yeah, if 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 Carl is aimed by Mamish, why is that an Isra on Shabbos to create Carl if it's an aim by Mamish? So you're right, it's a Chachma. So that's a ticket share. Uh-huh. Okay. You may come to fix you may you may come to fix the clear. Clear is another Mamish, right? Yeah. Okay. So look at Rashi, guys. <laughs> There's nothing to them. Always Therefore, you'll be chayev. Now, with the Kamar of Yeshua, Pater Laachash Shetal Tamasai is the Migdash Kamar. It's speaking in the Migdash. So when the Bryce said before you chayev, it's speaking that you have Moshe's Katarius. You want to order? 
from Amazon. Quick set keys. Okay. Uh, back in the Gemara. Once you do a mitzvah, there's not meal anymore. Okay, so we digressed for a second, right? Guys, the sugya, the sugya at large. Machloikis, Rava and Abaya, in the case of Loi Evsha b'machavein, Rava says Asa, Abaya says Yechayib, each one brought a raya, each raya was slugged up. In Rava's raya, we brought in a sugya whether, whether there is Meila by something of Koyal, Mara, or Reach. We're going ahead, we're fine tuning that. It says that what? That there is no Meila by Koyal, Mara, there is, however, by Reach. There's a Rav Chaim Briska. Rav Chaim says the din of Meila, guys, is a din in Gezel. You're stealing from Hegdish. You can't steal a coil and you can't steal a Mara. That's why there's no 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 din of Meila. You, you're being you're having a no. You're having a no. And so you'd say you're being moil behegdish, so you should be chayev. The answer is, Chaim says, Meil is not just having a no. You're stealing it. How do you steal a coil? How do you steal a mare? In other words, it's still there afterwards. It, you didn't do anything. There's no. Maybe that's what it means. Ain't bamamish. There's nothing to it. Okay. Yeah, but there, so, isn't there a thing of hezek ria? You, you 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 could do damage by looking at. So hezek, ria is, 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 is a hezek ria is a din by a person. Who's bothered by his next door neighbor looking at him when he barbecues? No Hezek Ria looking at a painting. Now, the says the Gemara that now the Gemara is going to ask on this idea that you told me something that a mitzvah is done, there's no dinamila. So, in other words, once you burn the katoris and the smoke goes up, so showing there's no dinamila. The Gemara is going to question that. By two things that are Kaddish, you're going to do them. And even after you did the mitzvah, they're still Asa. Even after you did the mitzvah, you're still Asa. So th- we're totally digressing from Asugya. And we're focusing on that thing that it's possible to go ahead and do something and still have a din of Mila. Says the Gemara, and still be Let's see what it is that. Fed the Gemara Kasha. The Memra, to me to say, the Cholhecha, the Nasa Mitzvah, say, anytime you do a mitzvah, Ein Ba Mishum Mila. There's no din of meila. Bahari Truma Sadeshen. The first thing in the morning, guys, they would go, they would go up to the Mizbeach. They would take from the pyre that was burnt overnight. They would take a shovel from the innermost part, go down, and on the southeast corner of the Mizbeach, they would go ahead and put right there. That's called Trumas, the separation, Deshen of the Ish. It was the first Abay that done the Mikdash every single day. The Nasa Mitzvasa, the Yesh Ba Mishra Right? The Siv, the Samoy Eslam is Beach. You should put it next to the Mizbeach on the southeast side. Shalay Yifazer, that it should get it should not go ahead and get scattered. The the Samoy Shla Yahana. Right? And you, you mean the summer means that you shouldn't have enough from it. Now what's the guys the problem? You just told me once the mitzvah is done, there's no problem with having Anna. You see over here the Samo put it there that you can't have Anna. Ah, you did the mitzvah already. So the Chayra Chuma Sadeshen is going ahead and breaking your idea. It's saying it's not true because you did the mitzvah and still there's a din of Hanah. And for the Gemara, that Chuma Sadeshen, who big day kuna, shnei kusub mabam kechad. The chol shnei kusub mabam kechad, name malamdim. Okay, we have a rule like this in the Torah. The Torah is very makatsa. The Torah is very brief. Therefore, if the Torah wants to teach me something, it only has to mention something once. By telling me that something once, it means that now I can learn out the color Torah Kula from that one thing. So if it would have said only Truma Sadeshen, I would have said the following. Just like Truma Sadeshen, you did the mitzvah. You're still mayo. So to the color Torah Kula, once I do the mitzvah, I'm still mayo. However, it have passed by the beggar of Aaron. On the Yom Kippur, the Kohen Gadol wore four white begotten. And it says... You would take them off and you put them there, and that's it. And no one was able to use them again, according to one opinion. You couldn't use them again. So you see that why it's still Kaidesh after you did the mitzvah, right? So now, if you have two things that tell me the same din, then it must be limited to those two things. Because if it wasn't, why would you have to tell me big day kahuna? I would learn it out of 
Shumas Adeshen. By saying two, it's to teach me these are the only two places where you do the mitzvah, Yemoyal. Any other place, not. Says the Gemara, Mishum, that Shumas Adeshen, a big day, Kuna, Havishnei Kusum Aban Ke'efad, two Psukim that are teaching me the same din, the Chol Kusum Aban Ke'efad, name Alamdin. Shumas Adeshen Hadamaron, that we just said, it says the Samai place it next to the Mizbeach, that people should have enough from it. Big day kahuna, this is speaking about the beggar, not of the kahuna, it's speaking about the beggar of Aaron or the Kohen Godel in Yom Kippur. Ixiv, they sham, and he leaves it there. Malameid shetunim geniza, leaves it there. What does it mean? It needs geniza. Why does it need geniza? Why do you have to hide it? Because you can't use it anymore. You can't have enough from it. Good. So now they're both coming to teach you the same din. If you do a mitzvah, it's yamoil, only by those two places, no other place. Says the Gemara, honey for Rabban and Yomim Alam Nishtunu Genisa. That's according to the Chachamim who said that the Nichasham means it needs Genisa. El Reb Doisi, the Pligi Olai who argued the Chachamim Damar Avaruy and him the Kohen Hedget. Who might that that Kohen Gadol's Beged could be used by the Kohen Hedget during the year. Who might was me the Nichasham Shlai Yistamish Pehem Biyom Kippur Ma'acher Ma'ek Lameimer. It means the Nichasham that the Kohen Gadol can't use it the next year, but but it's Mut Bahana. So Mamela, it should be, you have a question now, guys. The Loitis Man, the Omar, Big Day Kahuna does not teach me that once you do the mitzvah, it's still Asa. Because here it's Mutta. A Kain Hedge could use it. So now we only have one source, Trumas Adeshen. So let's learn that from Trumas Adeshen. Even though you did the mitzvah, there will be a din of Mila. That's the Gemara's Kasha. And the Gemara, you should have Trumas Adeshen of Egla Rufa, Shnei Suma Ba'in Ke'echad. Because Trumas Adeshen and Egla Rufa are two psukim, teach me the same thing. Egla Rufa, you find a dead body between two cities. You go ahead and you measure the one that's closest. You're going to go ahead and take an eagle. You're going to take it to a, not the area where you found a dead body. You're going to take it to a place called Nachal Eson, a, a ground that never worked before. You're going to decapitate it in that spot. And that spot, you have to leave it. It's also about enough. So it's going to Why does it say by Chumas Egla Rufa? It's Chumas Adeshen, V'nichim Shom. You leave it there. So now you have two places where you did the mitzvah that it's also. There's says that that you do learn now from two things. So according to that man how do you know that if you did the mitzvah that you're not moral anymore? I even though it says two places, you'll learn now from Shumas Adeshin and Egla Rufa that what that there is a din of Mila, even though you did the mitzvah. It says more mission by <clears throat> by Egla Rufa. And by Trumas Adeshen, we have a miyot limiting it to the, those two things. I'm going to lim, limit it to Trumas Adeshen, limit it to Egla Rufa. Ksiv, it says by, by, by Trumas Adeshen, it says the summary, place it. What does it mean? It and only it, nothing else. Uksiv ha arufa, Egla guys, ha arufa. What is the hey? The specific arufa in no other place. So the mela, that's it. So we answer up the kasha. In fact, it is true. It's true that uh, it's true that once you do a mitzvah, there's no din of meila, either because shnei kesuma ban keechad from chumas adesh and egla rufa, or from chumas adesh and big dekahuna, depending what you uh, learn about big dekahuna, or because chumas adesh and and egla rufa have a miat limiting it there. After those two places, it's an asa ba'ano after what after you did the mitzvah. But any other place, once you do the mitzvah, it's motor ba'ano. There's no meila. Now. Getting back to Rav and Abaya. Again, Abaya, lo yefsha mechavin, moto. Uh, Rava, lo yefsha mechavin, asa. Second lashon. Again, says the Gemara, Tashma. Now, hechnisa l'ravka. You're going to go ahead and you're taking a machlek, as Rashi says, an egla rufa, Tais is a para, and you're putting it in, to, you're putting it in a corral with a bunch of um, grain, to thresh, but you're putting it in the estamaza, you're putting it to nurse, but you're not you're not putting it into to thresh. So the halacha is it says by both Egla Rufa and by by Paraduma, it says you can't work them. By Paraduma it says, Paraduma Tmima, Asher Mum, Allah that didn't have a burden on it. And by Egla Rufa it says, Velochu Ziknea Ira he Eglas Baka Ashalay Ubad. An egg was book, I shall ubad ba, I shall a mushka ba oil. I shall a ubad. It never, it was never worked. So, therefore, here's the din. You take an egg la rufa, that will go with Rashi's shot, you put it in this corral with a bunch of grain, 
Vidosha, and it happens to go ahead and step on the grain and separate the, the wheat from the chaff, Kshera, it's not considered that it worked. It's not considered that it worked. Bishvil Shatinak Vitidosh, however, if you put it in for the purpose of nursing from its mother and it does work, then Psula. Now, it's not possible to avoid. The animal has to nurse, guys. The animal has to nurse. You can't avoid it. Become a chavin, and you a chavin for what? For right, for it, it going ahead and working, and and you know separating the wheat from the chaff. The ketani psula, and you see it's possible. L'chayer raya to rava, and a kasha on, on a kasha on a baya. Last one, guys. The animal has to nurse, right? Look, look, at, look at the chart. The animal has to nurse. And you want it to go ahead and, and, and do work. Between Abayah and Rava, it says, Arayah to Rava, that it's awesome. There you go. Shiny Hassan, the Chseva Shalai Ubad Ba, Mikal Makan. In other words, really, usually you'd be Matta. But we have a special chumrah by the para by, by Egla Rufa and para Duma. We learned how to say oil oil. It didn't work at all. So therefore, you part a special waiver. Fred and Mark have a special waiver. Why in the first place are you part when you put it in there? I feel the ratio I'm an al on the face. I feel the ratio as well. Even if it didn't go into nurse and it did work, you should be a puzzle. Says Mahalik Damya, it's not similar to that. El Allah. Shakin. It says, Shachin la oif. Let's say you have a paraduma. It says, Ashalai ala la oil. Guys, an oil is lav dafka. If a, if a male animal would mount, if a male animal would mount a female, it would become puzzle. That's not an oil, but it's something on the back of the female. Let's say a bird, an ox pecker. You know, an ox pecker in Africa, the ox peckers, they go down on the, on the buffalo and they eat the, the bugs. Pinny fish. Are, will tell you about it. Shimon Gans will tell you about the ox peckers in Africa. So they come down and they land. Gedanks us. They take the ticks off the back. Yes, you know that? Yeah? Yes, no, maybe? Shimon, yeah. Shimon says, yeah. Shimon, Shimon tell him it's Cholomite, Shimon. Shimon, tell him. He's not talking. Okay, anyway. So, the, so he, he goes ahead. And the, a bird flies down on the animal. So you're going to say the animal's puzzle? So just because the animal went in to do some work, you're going to say it's puzzle? No, you're not. I'll tell you why. Listen to this, guys. But if a zacha mounts it, it's puzzle. My timer. Omra Papa. Iksiv. Avad. He worked. The Karinan Avad. And you would re read it as he worked. Ad the Ovid Ba Ihu. He'd have to do it be a dayim. He'd have to work the animal. The animal couldn't do work by itself. If it said Avad, it would be Mashma. He has to work the animal. Ikasiv Ubad, it be worked. That's that's Ubanics. Ikasiv Ubad, it be worked. The Karinan Ubad, and we say it be worked, meaning it works by itself. This is what's known as in the trade as a pu'al, right? It's it, it's working by itself. Even by itself, you be chayev. But hashtag chsiv aleph base dalid. It's read, it's written as avad. The karinan ubad, but we read it as a ubad. Ubad dumya da avad. You need it working by itself, similar to when you work it. Ma avad de just like avad de nichale, af ubad de so Mamela, in the case number one, when the animal went in by itself and it does work, you don't want it to do work. Masha Enkane, when it goes in to go ahead and nurse, then and it works, then you chai. So very gushmak. Toshma. Halacha is an Aveda, you have to watch, you have to guard it, you're a shaima. Machlik is in, in whether a shaima Aveda is a shaima Sacha or a shaima Shema Chinam, right? This is the famous. Uh, something to Rabbi Yosef. Prute to Rabbi Yosef, guys, right? You know, Prute to Rabbi Yosef? If someone would come over, you'd be part of giving a Prute because why? Because you're watching it. 
So you become a Shem Mesacha. So either way, you're not allowed to go ahead right, and use this. You have to watch it, you can't use it. So now, you have a nice garment, a nice tapestry. You shouldn't go ahead and spread it. Not on a bed. And not on top of a peg. For your needs. If you, want, if you want to look at it nicely, if you want people to think you're rich, nonetheless, you're not allowed to spread it out. That's for your needs. You're able to spread it out for its need, meaning to air it out to make sure the, 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 the worms don't get it, the silkworms don't get it. Then what? You're able to spread it out. However, if you have orchim, if you have guests that come, then you shouldn't spread it out. Not on a bed and not on pegs. Whether it's for its own need, now, over there, over there, Rashi tells us that even though you have to spread it for itself, so that's unavoidable, right, guys? It's unavoidable. You have to spread it out for itself. It needs it. It's unavoidable. But since you're miskavein, right? You're miskavein, to have I know it's also. So in other riot, Rava, lay Efshar, but you're not allowed to do it. A riot to Rava. It says, well, no, shiny hustle. The reason we don't spread it over there is the Kali lay, because you're going to go ahead and be burning it. What does that mean? Emishim ain't a bisha, either because the people are going to say, wow, wow, wow. Emishim ganve. You know, you're going to go ahead and, uh, and steal it. So that's the reason. Not because of Efsha Umechave. Nothing to do with that whatsoever. It's like your mom is destroying it with your hands. You're burning it. Because either I, I, I in her or because of, or because of Ganov. Tashma, a final attempt. Mike, we had this morning, Shabbos. You're a salesman of clothing. It's shotness. Are you able to wear it? Mike, those people who wear clothing of shotness, right? You could go ahead and sell them in a normal way. Provided you're not in the sun because of the sun. Or to protect you in the rain because of the rain. Because then you'd be having a no from the shatness. And the people who are in these were tzaddikim. They would take the garment, take a stick, and hold it off their bodies. Thus, not being over on the issue of wearing it, and they'd be able to show their wares. Good. Now, over here, it's possible. Guys, we're gonna, here we're going to go to, to this chart. We're going to go to chart number one. Over here, it's possible, what, guys? It's possible to be like the Tznoyen. And when you're not mechavein, Shari, it's permitted. Guys, watch, look. Efsha to avoid the shotness, guys, by going ahead, what? And, and putting on a stick and extending it beyond me. But if I wear it and I'm not mechavein, it's still muta. That's like a riot to abaya and a kasha on rava in the fritlish nekama. Efsha and loy mechavein, abaya, it'd be a riot abaya and a kasha on rava. So look inside over here. Vahocha de efsha lemeva kitsluyin. It's an upslug on the Lishna Kama according to, to Rava. Okay, I wish everyone a great Zeis Hanukkah. Tomorrow, Bez Hashem will post. And Moitzah Shabbos, 7 o'clock. Everyone have a great Shabbos. Enjoy. Stay safe. Shabbos, thank you. Rabbi. Shabbos. Shabbos. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. My wife, have a, have a, my, he's in my wife. Shabbos, he's in my wife. Amen. How's your wife? Ruth Basagusta. Her name is Ruth Basagusta. Is she getting better a little bit day by day? No. no. But they, again, it's it's not unexpected. People, they they stay, they say you can be like this for a week or two. Really, it, it, can, yeah. it, it lasts a long time. But the levels time. are fine. The oxygen is fine over there. Seven months, I still don't, seven months, I still don't have it fully back. I'm telling you. Again, I have a, there was a whole share today. I already told me this fellow, Srili Bornstein, gave a share that he wanted to say that even if you can't smell, you can make a bracha on Havdalah because it's for the Neshama, and the Neshama doesn't have to smell. I asked Rabbi Rudinsky, he said, the bracha is on Reach. You got to smell it. If you can't smell, you can't make the bracha. But just be aware, it's not Ma'akev, the Havdalah. Havdalah, 
listen, when you don't do it, when it falls after Yontif, you're not making Neri, you're not making, you're not making, you just make Abdullah, right? It's, a, it's not Makif. It's a Shabbos, you have Neri, and, 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 but again, that's, uh, that's the way it is. You can't, you can't do it. You can't do it. I, I, can't, I could never smell. I never remember smelling in my life. I asked over 40 years ago, I asked, can Eric and Eric just roll? And uh, he said, no, no bracha and Abdullah. No, I'm summoned. So th- did he, your wife he's... make the bracha? Yeah, she makes the bracha. But you have to have dollar. Um, because she's not supposed to be part of Abdullah. She 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 actually makes it, you know, in the right time. I make the the A she afterwards. Yes, yes, that Shaila again. If she if she make it afterwards, rather than uh-huh. during the Abdullah, maybe she should. She wants for the Shaman to stay, but it's not part of Abdullah because you can't make it. You're the Mavarich. Yes, yes, the Shaila. Okay, thank you. It never never occurred to me. Yeah. Okay, very good schmack. How good was that shot? That was that helpful. Yeah, taste. Huh? Yeah. I, I can only taste right. what's on my tongue. Sweet, sour, bitter, and salty. You know, I have taste, Baruch Hashem. The jelly donuts that somebody brought me this week were very gishmak. <laughs> pity, pity takes care of me. Pity takes care of me. Right, so. Have a good night. Have a good night, everybody. Have a good night.